Ferrari Challenge Series was launched in early 1993 as Ferrari wanted to improve sales of the 348s while energizing their fan base, emphasizing Ferrari's long history of building winning GT race cars. At that time, the Challenge Series was limited to an Italian and European series, but in 1994, the 348 Challenge Series came to the US, with the first race on February 11, 1994 at Morso in Florida as part of the Cavallino Classic. Most of the 348 Challenge cars are, that are on the market today are simply converted from the street cars. So there's really not that many factory built cars. The only ones that were built by the factory were the North America versions. And there's a bit of an argument over exactly the number of factory 348 Challenge cars, but the most widely accepted number is that there were 32 of the TBs and 13 of the TSs, making for a total of only 45 factory built Challenge cars. Now, the difference between a TB and a TS is simply the Berlinetta versus the Spider. And on the Challenge cars, it's not an actual Spider with a full convertible top, it's simply a Targa. The nice thing about the 348 Challenge cars, and one of the things that makes them so desirable, of course, is the fact that out of the factory ones, there's only 45 built. So that automa automatically makes them very desirable cars. But unlike the 355s, 360 Challenge cars, and any other cars in the challenge series these are street legal so this car has the little epa and dot placard in the door jam meaning it conforms to all 50 states regulations so you can put plates on this car register it and drive it around town like you would any other car which you can't do with any other ferrari challenge car when the 348s first came out, they were not a very big success. So Ferrari had to revamp them to make them special um, and more desirable. And before they came out with the 348 Challenge cars, they first introduced the 348 Series Speciale, which was a short run of only 100 cars made only for the US market. Now, some of the cars were both Series Speciale and challenge cars like this one here. So this car is the second of the 100 series speciale and the 18th of the 35 factory challenge cars, challenge TB cars. So it has a little bit of all the best worlds mixed in it. And the Series Speciale was, uh, before the Challenge cars, they went from 300 horsepower to about 312. They had the go fast goodies, the free flowing exhaust and other little items to make their performance a little better. Um, and then the Challenge cars bumped it up from the 312 to 320 horsepower, making them even better. The 348 was the final design overseen by chief stylist Leonardo Fioravanti, known for many famed Ferraris, starting with the 365 GTB4 Daytona, the 512BB, the 288 GTO, F40, P5, P6, and more. Power came from a dry sump 3.4 liter quad cam, four valve per cylinder V8 engine, with these later cars good for 312 horsepower at 7,200 RPM. The wider rear track, a free flow exhaust system, and a shorter ratio final drive gave them massive power and speed. The 348 Challenge cars were all derived from the street cars. So because it was a brand new series, uh, they just took their factory street cars and added things to make them usable on the racetrack. So this is this car has a lot of things you don't see in um, most race cars. It still has the door panels and power windows, has all the leather, it has the carpets. If you look at a 360 Challenge car, it doesn't have any of that because all it does is add weight to the car if the purpose of the car is to race. So none of that is necessary. Um, but because this is the first of the Challenge series, it still has all the street stuff. So basically you can get in your car and drive it to the racetrack, have a fun day racing, and then just drive home at night. It's one of the only cars you can do that with. Plus, 
because it was the first edition and before paddle shifts, it still has a stick. So if you like that feeling of, um, it, it's kind of like really being in control of the car. I mean, a paddle shift is nice, but some people really like driving with a stick and racing with a stick. And the 348s and the 355s have the stick shift, whereas every edition after that, it went to paddle shift. This 348 Challenge was raced out of Miller Motor Cars, and in 1994, it was fitted with a racing clutch, solid suspension bushings, and a large oil cooler behind the front grille with the bigger Wink rearview mirror. It came with a factory-supplied OMP roll cage, OMP racing seats, 18-inch Speedline magnesium wheels, and an OMP fire extinguisher. Uh, unlike all other Challenge cars, the 1994 348s are pre-OB2 cars. They came with street titles and can be licensed for the street in most states. The 348 Challenge cars corrected a lot of the wrongs with the original 348s, making them much more drivable and user-friendly. Plus, with only 45 factory cars built, they're one of the most rare modern era Ferraris out there available today. And being street legal and able to go on the track, they're a great buy. So I hope you guys learned a little something new about these 348 Challenge cars and enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, subscribe, and stay tuned because we have a lot more coming out very soon.